Okay. Now let's on the Olise. Okay. Olise here refers to the higher, higher secondary school. Okay. For the students from the age of 15 to 18, it is called as Lise. Okay. It is masculine. And in this lesson, we are uh, we are introducing you to the second group of verbs called I R verbs. We call it as in French I is E R E R verb. So as it says I R verb, if you observe in the infinitive form, it will be ending with I R. For example, here we have a verb remplir, which means to fill up. Okay, to fill or to fill up. Okay. So how the conjugation will be? As we are telling, we have to remove the IR and it should be replaced. If the subject is je, IR becomes IS. For Q also, IR will become into IS. For il and l, it will be IT. For no, it will be ISSYNS. For who, it will be ISSEZ. And L and L, it will be ISSENT. Okay, but the pronunciation, there won't be much change. For example, here, remplir to fill up. Je rempli. Tu rempli. Il rempli. Elle rempli. Nous remplissons. Vous remplissez. Il remplisse, elle remplisse. Okay. So this is how an IR verb is conjugated in present tense. Now, here we are being given some more IR verbs. Okay. Already we have seen rempli, which means to fill up. And we have a verb called fleurir, which means to blossom. Okay. Then we have the verb finir, which means to finish. And additional, it is having ne pa in front of it. So that means what? You are going to put this verb in the negative form. Then we have a verb choisir to choose. Then the verb reusir to succeed. Okay. So before that, a short thing about this negation. Okay. How will you put a verb in in a negative form? Okay, the negation. Okay, now for example, let's take this question number three. Okay. So here the subject is no, so I wrote the no. And the verb finir will become into finisson. F-I-N-I-S-S-O-N-S. And the nerpa is there. So what you have to do is, before the conjugated verb, you have to write this. Na. Sorry. Before the verb, you have to write na. Then after the verb, you have to write pa. Then the whatever remaining part, no travai. So that's how you form negative. Okay, by adding. Na before the verb and pa after the verb. This is the verb. So now the sentence is in the negative form. I mean negation. That means actually finir means to finish. Now na no na finish on pa no to travel means we are not finishing our verb. Okay, it is in the present tense and negative form. So anywhere, whenever, we, but when you are giving in infinity form, the na will be written and the verb will be in infinity form. But when you are conjugating na before the verb and pa after the verb, like this, you have to form first subject, then na, then the verb conjugation according to the subject, then pa, then remaining part of the sentence. Okay, this is how we form a negative sentence in the French. Okay, here the word fleur is a subject. It is equal. Since here the word fleur in French is feminine, which means flower. So it is equal to else here. Okay. So 
so we have to give that ending for this so it will be fleury f n e u r i s s e n g okay fleury dans le jardin okay so dans means in and the word jardin means garden okay, the flowers are blossoming in the garden jardin and here no nerpa finir the verb finir is the verb when it is having nerpa in front of it that means you have to put that conjugation in the negative form so the answer will be no na finissant pas okay we didn't finish our work the next maxim again maxim is name of a boy it is equal to the meaning of il singular name okay so the ending will be c h o i s i t choisi means to choose so the word choisi means chooses la desa means multicolor multicolor means multicolored painting or a drawing the word desa means drawing and again this word is masculine then je réussi okay i succeed again it will be r e u s s i s and also don't forget to put the accent here accent to you i am on examen de français examen means french I mean examen means exam Okay, the exam in the français that means a French exam. Description. In French, the word it is qui, q u i, qui means who. Okay, so if you want, if you don't know someone and you want to ask about that person, so we will ask who is it in English, right? So in French, we will ask qui s. The word s is who is it? Okay. Or is this? Then when you are replying to this question, it will become into say. It's a singular name, Pierre. Okay, say Pierre. And if it is a plural, two names are there. More than one name you want to say. Say so, Pierre A. Julie. Okay, either the answer is going to be in singular say or in plural say so. The question is only one yes. Okay, maybe somebody is knocking in your door in your house. You can ask, "Qui est? Who is it?" Then they will reply by telling, "Say and their name or their relation, say père, say mère, okay, like that." Okay, even if, uh, when somebody is calling to calling in your telephone, you can ask, "Hello, yes." Okay, in French we say, "Hello, yes." Who is it? They will say, "Hello, c'est moi, Julie." They can reply like this. Okay, c'est moi means it's me, but "hello" has a circumflex accent like this. Okay, this is how we say "hello" in French, especially when you're making telephone call. So "q" or "q" "q" apostrophe. Means what? This give you apostrophe. It will become when it is followed by a noun or a word which is having a bubble. For example, here, yes, que c'est. Okay, it's a complete question. What is it? Okay, maybe if your parents have brought a gift, it's covered. You don't know what it is. So out of curiosity, you can ask them, yes, que c'est. Then they may say, if it is a singular form, they will say, c'est un portable. It is a mobile phone. If it is in plural, they'll say "c'est son des portables." These are some telephones or mobile phones. So singular is "c" followed by the singular form of the noun, and plural will be "c'est son" plus the plural form of the noun. And the question will be "qu'est-ce que c'est?" 
okay is the safe now for example the number one is calculate three is calculated i can show a point to this and ask yes can say then here calculate three is in singular form you will say set in calculate three okay you have to now you have to improve the vocabulary by looking at the picture you will know the meaning by looking at the article and definitely you will know its gender so un calculatrice you know what it is calculator then unicle singular form and decle plural form so in singular form you use set unicle and in plural form say so decle these are some keys then in a regle a ruler or a scale then you have unicol which means a glue glue and dossier which means a document or a file okay dossier normally it is that okay then we have uh, une trousse a pouch okay then we have un chocolat a chocolate then you have une gomme an eraser then we have un feutre which means a sketch pen then we have a stylo a pen then we have a crayon which is a pencil okay then we have a anti crayon which is a sharpener okay then we have a dictionnaire which is a dictionary then we have a livre which is a textbook so one thing which is missing is a register or a notebook we call it as and kaye which is a notebook okay i think most other things the basic thing of a student thing is covered so you should know then how to say a bag okay a bag in french is called as a sack as but the bag means in generally sack means a bag but a school bag is an cartable okay so know the difference the word a sack means bag in general it can be any bag a handbag or a backpack anything but cartable is a school bag a child okay that's a special i mean there is a separate name for it okay so a pair of scissors right i think so we say so scissors is up always in plural so it will be ciso it is masculine okay ciso means a pair of scissors okay so we want to show this a no form a child it will be it will can refer to male or female okay then male means a garçon a boy then a nom a man in feminine une fille girl then une femme a woman okay a little one more step behind if you go i can say a um, baby okay which means a baby again it can be a male baby or a female baby but the word baby is masculine baby. 